Call parliamentary practices, I mean privileges, because this is the origin of what you call parliamentary privilege up to now. Parliament at that time was very critical of the rule of King Charles, including his taxes, the wars he fought, sometimes his refusal to call Parliament to meet. Uh, some people believed that actually Charles wanted to destroy um, the Protestant religion, which was very critical in England by virtue of these acts. So there were five members of the House of Commons who drafted a protest, what is sometimes referred to as, as a remonstrance against the king, listing the complaints that Parliament had against the king. Now if you know the history of the royalty in England, this was actually treason. So they committed what was actually treasonable at that point in time. And this was the first time, 1641, when Parliament openly, openly challenged the monarch. So, accompanied by soldiers, the king himself entered the House of Commons to arrest those four characters. But they went into hiding. The speaker at the time is documented to have been a man called William Lenthal. He refused to reveal where they were hiding in Parliament. I, I don't know the chambers of parliament, Mr. Speaker, but I am hoping that there are dungeons where your members can hide sometimes when that happens. This must have been the case. So, the king ordered the speaker to disclose where these five were. And the speaker answered, I have neither eyes to see nor the tongue to speak in this house, but as the house is pleased to direct me, whose servant I am here. Sometimes, many of you will discover there's no quorum in the house. And the speaker will continue conducting business in the house until you raise the point. Because of this tradition of 1641. I have no house to see, nor tongue to speak, except as directed by you, the members, who are the servants that I have to serve here. So, that conflict between the... Of course, the... the, the the, the king concluded that the two must have flown out of parliament. That conflict resulted into the civil war, and that civil war was fought until 1689, when there was a declaration of rights. That declaration of rights acknowledged parliament's independence. And among the content of that declaration of rights, was the right for free speech and m frequent meetings by parliament. What you call today parliamentary privileges and immunities are deemed 